All right, we got this call from Franklin, North Carolina. Hey, bro. My girl has three really long, thick, bristly hairs growing out of her navel. I plucked one while she was sleeping. The root was really bulbous and girthy and smelled like bone broth. Should I love her or leave her? Wow, man. Um, yeah, that's the hairy navel, dude. I've, you know, I haven't dealt with that. Uh, I've, I've definitely dated, I dated a girl with a very small head uh, for a while. And even, it was almost just like her neck had gotten real fancy at the top and had a mouth on it and stuff. And and I remember her head just felt like a, just like a, like an adventurous kind of melon. It wasn't, it was, it was about a three-quarter head, maybe, of a regular head. And that made me nervous, dude. Um... I dated a girl that she her mouth smelled like meat around her mouth smelled like different meat, mm, like she was just you know just hiding carpaccio under her skin or something around her mouth, or doing putting some kind of meats or something on her mouth at night. And I know she wasn't. I mean that's crazy. She wasn't. She didn't even eat beef jerky or do any of those, nothing like that. But she had this very meat. This kind of barbecue-ish kind of feeling and scent around her lips. That made me nervous. I hooked up with this girl one time in South Carolina or North Carolina. Who's, her breasts kind of felt like shit diapers a little bit. Um, you know, like a baby. Like if a baby has like a poop diaper, you can, you can mold the diaper and it'll stay that way. And her breasts were like that. You could shape them and they would stay in whatever shape it, you kind of put them in. Um, so that was very baffling, but I never said a word, you know, uh, I never said a word, dude, because I've had things that I'm sure and do have things that I'm sure women don't like about me. You know, I've had hairy back, um, had hairy buttocks, you know, sometimes I get it kind of tended to, they got a Persian lady over here who really hates hair and she'll go at it for you for about $50 and really attack it and. But I, uh, I, I, you know, I used to be nervous, self-conscious that I had hair kind of on my buttocks and back. And I even remember I would walk out of the room backwards. Like if I were leaving a bedroom, if I'd been making love with a lady and I'm walking out of the room, I would walk backwards like I'm fucking, like I'm that dude in, uh, in Silence of the Lambs, you know, you know, but I, I would like walk backwards like I was Michael Jackson, you know, just like. I gotta go to the bathroom, you know, just walk out of the room like that, dude, because I was just, I didn't, maybe I was just self-conscious about that, um, I had a fever one time really bad and made love to a woman, and I, I know to this day that she questions probably the heat that was coming out of my body, you know, it was, it was, so, it was, it was, it was beyond normal, just, I mean, it was like a 103 degree fever I was fucking at, you know, and that's, very intense, probably. So I don't know what she thought. Maybe that I had some type of a rabies or that I was just angry. Just so angry, you know, to be coming in that hot physically. So I think you got to think about that, man. Like, how many hairs and weird body things do you have, you know? I mean, not to scold you, but to let you know that, dude, you probably have countless deficiencies. Countless, man. We all do. So you can't really hold your lady to that crazy regard, I don't think, you know. I mean, maybe celebrate it. Get her a barrette, you know. Get her a barrette up and just pop a beautiful barrette, like a nice church, little church brooch for your hair and put it on the, on those hairs, you know. Or gel them down, you know. Make a game about it, you know. Floss your teeth with them, dude. Celebrate it. Maybe instead of, you know trying to sneak them out of her body while she's resting. And how hard does she even sleep if you're able to pull a hair out of her body? I'd worry about more about, you know, some of her sleep patterns and about some of her hair patterns. And uh, and, and just love her, man. That's what I say, dude. Because here's the thing. If you love her, love her for everything, bro. If she has one leg or one lip or one, you know, or only one, one, one fucking hat... Or anything, dude. Love her. You know, if you're going to love her, love her. That's what I say. If you say you're going to love somebody, then love them. 
Otherwise, don't bullshit them up top, man. But if you want to mail that hair in, dude, uh, email me, and I'll show the hair to people. Just to prove that you're out there doing that, sneaking hairs out of people's body in the middle of the night, bro. Damn, dog. That's some Boo Radley shit right there, bro. But I do appreciate uh, you checking in. And I say just embrace her, man. You know, show her some some bad hair you have. And y'all just be fucking hair bears, dog. You know? Hair bear up. Hair bear up.